Finally tonight in John Holden's world, the story of a former Channel 4 cameraman who went on to fulfill a lifelong dream, seeing his play make it to the stage. I started out with this little pithy saying that I made up that uh, if you want to have an extraordinary life, you have to pursue extraordinary events. Water and life has been extraordinary for Ignacio Medrano. As a network cameraman, we often saw the ravages of war and revolution in South America through his eyes, until that world turned on him. Two years ago, his life behind the camera came to an end when he was severely beaten by Panamanian security. You take the stability here in the U.S. for granted. I just learn to appreciate life basically and I saw the fragile aspect of humanity. Get up, you festering warp! But Ignacio wasn't about to let his injuries keep him down. His own personal war continues to rage on stage in a theater production written, directed, and starring this cameraman turned playwright. The character's name is Francisco Guerra. Guerra means war. And the character's basically at war with himself. But you gotta be one twisted camper to just stand by. It's entitled The Electric Hummingbird. And it's no accident the plot closely resembles Ignacio's own frustrations at trying to sell his first script and deal with Hollywood producers. I mean, you want somebody to ring your bell, pick up your tab and style, ski once a year and a couple of trips to Europe? <laughs> yeah. Take a number and go to the end of the line. You know? The play deals more with just keeping the integrity of the individual. In this case, it happens to be a guy that wants to keep a script the way he sees it, a vision, and not selling it out. I would say that I really relate to that character. And even if you don't relate to Ignacio's own experiences in life, this is one drama that everyone can relate to life's emotions. What's the program for this planet, man? In Miami, John Holden, Channel 4 News. You know, Kelly, I've had the pleasure of working with Ignacio in different war zones around the world, and if he's a, as good of a writer as he is a photographer, he's, he's going to be great. We wish him good luck. That's it for us. Thank you for joining us. See you at 11.